Good morning. Thanks for your company. Well, we had a quiet session overnight as US markets didn't trade as it's a public holiday there for President's Day, while in Europe markets rallied up about 0.3%. While the biggest moves we saw were in Asia, we saw Chinese stocks rise 2.2%, and they're now about 2.6% away from erasing all of the coronavirus losses as the Chinese government has now stepped in implementing both fiscal and monetary stimulus to ward off the economic slowdown from the new pneumonia-like virus. Meantime, in breaking news, Apple has just warned that it won't meet its revenue guidance as the coronavirus has constrained supply and suppressed demand in China, while Macau casinos are set to reopen. As for us today, our Aussie traders are on for a busy day of absorbing plenty of news, which we'll touch on in just a sec. The Aussie share market futures at 8.11 a.m. were suggesting a flat start, meaning the market will search for direction at the open. And remembering yesterday, Yesterday, the ASX 200 closed at its third highest level, 7,125 points, despite losing 0.1 of a percent or five points. Today, all eyes are on Abacus Property Group and so which has just reported uh, results and net profit after tax coming in uh, above Bill Potter's estimates but below market expectations. APA is also out along with BHP after 8.30 and the um, Australian Eastern Standard Time Telecom conference kicks off at 9am. Cochley is also out along with Emico, IOOF, Monodelphus, as well as NetWealth, the fund manager, Oz Minerals Centre and I select plenty to go through and not including or also including Coles as well as Sims Metals Management. Just quickly, let's look at how markets are fared overnight. Well, European markets bounced back from their prior negative session. Most indices in Europe were up 0.3%, including the Stock 600, the German DAX, UK's foot and the French CAC. Asia markets mixed. Japan's uh, Japan's Nikkei was 0.7% uh, lower, with uh, GDP coming in worse than expected, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng rose half a percent. Gold has steadied from its two-week high to now at $1,584 an ounce. Oil has pushed higher. It's now at 52.33 a barrel, and the iron ore price last traded at 84.86 a ton, gaining almost 4% over the week. And last but not least, the Aussie dollar is at 67.18 US. Sense. Have a great day, happy trading, and I'll see you throughout the day for more reporting season coverage.